Hello, my dear friends. Uh, I just updated the Trillolo chart. This is the old one. Um, sadly, I went wonder disappeared. His Twitter account is no more. So we cannot expect any updates anymore. So um, I am unable to uh, create a new trend line. You can, of course, always calculate and you can get this sheet. I will put the link below crypto investment plan. And you have different tabs here uh, the plan itself. I will go over that, uh, but you have different tabs. This is the last calculated uh, logarithmic regression uh, trend line based on the information or the price data up until that day. This was uh, on the 3rd of May 2019 when market cap was around 175 billion. This trend line is correct. I updated it, but with Photoshop. Huh? Uh, so I was not able, of course, we can always calculate the trend line of today where it is. Uh, you just click this link uh, in the sheet and you will get uh, the calculation. Uh, and this is based on the date of today. Uh, and past prices uh, where we are and today we are at 332 billion uh, dollars that's the, where the trend line is but this this sheet is made the last sheet that was made by Alan Wonder and only includes the data up until uh, the 3rd of May uh, um, uh, but based on that data we are now at 332 billion with the trend line. But since then, prices have gone up. Huh? Uh, as you can see, I, uh, this is correct. Uh, the white line is correct. Uh, it's updated. We went up above the trend line and back below it. Uh, and today we are at 262 billion, so 100 billion more as when uh, he made his last uh, chart. Uh, and the trend lines continue to go up to now 232 billion. Huh? But 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 this is of course not uh, with the new data. If you would put the new price price data data in, you would be probably by my estimate now the the red line will have shifted a little bit upwards. Huh? The whole red line you will see it will shift a little bit upwards, a little bit higher, and as a consequence. Uh, the current valuation of the trend line is a little bit higher in the reality if you include the new price data. I estimate roughly that we are at about 345 billion, uh, the trend line. And since today uh, the market cap is 262, that means that we are an undervaluation of not 22, but I think 24. Huh? Small details. Uh, but I also think like, like this bull bear cycle, the blue line that I've been drawing, huh? also, of course, also always have to include new data. Huh? Uh, just like with the red trend line, the blue trend line, you also have to do that. And I did not do that with this chart. Huh? Uh, I just like, I drew this blue line when we were here. Um, um, but of course, if I would have to redraw the blue line, I have to lift it also a little bit up. Huh? Uh, because while well, uh, it's clearly not in the middle of past uh, prices anymore, huh? but when we were here, you could say, yes, this blue line goes through prices, some prices are below, above, below, above. But right now, since it has gone a lot higher, huh, uh, this is not average anymore. And I think that the blue line, to be fair, should be a little bit higher also. Huh? But that means that uh, we are still like in the long term, you can say that, yes, we are still undervalued today. If you have not uh, invested in crypto, uh, it is still a good time to do so. If you have, are seriously underexposed, it's also a still good time to do so today uh, because we are still undervalued compared to the trend line. Um, so objectively, you can state that crypto is undervalued today for about 24%. That's a great deal, of course, if you didn't invest yet. But if you already have an exposure that's decent and you also have other investments that are very good, then of course, um, there will likely be better buying opportunities here. Huh? And there's no rush to get in, so you have more patience. And in that case, I do think that, um, well, even though this blue line is a little bit higher, if you look at the at, 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 at the boom-bust cycle, 
we are seriously overvalued here in the short term. Huh? The boom bust cycle is around 100 billion here on the chart today. We are uh, 260, but if you, if you pull it a little bit higher, let's say it's 150 billion. Well, we're still at 260 billion. When 100 billion overvalued compared to the boom bust cycle, and it's likely to trend around that boom bust cycle. It is boom bust cycle is based on past cycle durations. Um, this is data, hard data eh, that the boom market in 2011 took one year, 2013 took two years, and 2018 took three years. That's hard data. Eh? That's uh, that's um, that's a fact. Eh? This boom market took uh, one year. This boom market took two years, and this boom market took three years. That's a fact. And the bear market is also a fact. Eh? The bear market after took half a year, and this one took one year. Eh? Um, uh, the bear market uh, took one year, a half a year here in 2011, and took one year in 2013, 14. Uh, if you look at this hard data, you can see that always in the past, the bear market took half of the time of the bull market. So likely it will repeat. Uh, that's one and a half year. But something went terribly wrong uh, with uh, our Trololo. Uh, projections because it looks like the bottom was in here huh? it will be very hard to break that bottom of 100 billion uh, so um i think we have to face this uh we're also september the middle of september now uh one and a half year should be in august huh? uh i mean july august as the middle of the year we should have seen the bottom uh, but uh, we're now in September, we're crossing, uh, and, uh, and, 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 and we're not even close uh, to making a new low. So um, that looks bad. But what still looks good, uh, so, so that's why I lowered in, in, in my plan, my estimate that we're going to make a new bottom used to be above average, above 50%, but now it's below. It's only 40% estimate, huh? I think. Uh, that's still a high chance, but it's like, you can't say it's likely anymore. If you have a 40% chance for something to happen, well, that's not likely, that's actually unlikely to happen eh? because it's less than 50%. So I think my opinion has changed here. It's less than 50% chance that we're gonna make a new bottom. But I do think we still have more than 50% chance I think 60% chance that we're going to make a new high and undervaluation because, well, that always happened in the past too. Uh, so even if the bottom is in, uh, like for example, 2011, the bottom is in, we do make a new high and undervaluation compared to the red trend line. Uh, here you can see, yeah, the bottom is in at minus 50%, but we do go to minus 55 and even to minus 60% in the sideways movement and sideways movement does not mean that it goes down in fiat price it means that it goes uh, sideways versus the trend line and actually it always in the past has gone down versus the trend line in the even in the in in the well the bear market of 2011 stops here but the sideways movement starts here because we don't really go parabolic even though prices go up they go up just parallel to the print line, uh, they even make a wider gap. The same happens in the sideways movement of 2014-15, uh, uh, after the bear market is over in 2014. The sideways movement also is parallel to the trend line, but actually makes the gap wider. And so we see, even though the bottom is in here in the beginning at minus 42%, we do go to a higher undervaluation compared to the trend line. So this, in both sideways movements we have seen a new high in undervaluation so even if the bottom is in i still think that that's likely to happen that we will see a, a higher low in undervaluation and that was again minus 50 percent what a coincidence eh? that three times minus 50 percent we see the bottom the fiat bottom likely huh? uh, not certainly but likely eh? this was indeed the fiat bottom but um yeah i mean that just goes to show that this this chart is is of extreme high value huh? 
uh, because um, um, yeah, that's 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 really really beautiful to see. But indeed, it also shows that it is just very likely that we go to minus uh, that we're gonna exceed this undervaluation, and so we go to minus fifty, minus sixty percent at least, as as happened in twenty eleven. Even if the bottom is in, and what, what does that mean? Well, that means that currently we're at a, a trend line of three hundred thirty-two billion. If we are going the next month or so uh, to this uh, new high in undervaluation, that would mean we go to about minus fifty, minus fifty-five percent undervaluation compared to trend line. We're at three hundred thirty-two billion. Cut by two is about one hundred fifty billion. Uh, sorry, uh, the trend line goes up fast. Uh, I did I did a more uh, specific calculation here. One moment. Uh, so 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 of course everything takes time. It's likely not to happen immediately. So um, uh, I, I added a month uh, between today, September, the first of October, in two weeks is the soonest that we could see an undervaluation of forty percent. Uh, which would mean that Bitcoin Core goes to 7,500 if we reach it the next week's month. But of course, to go to even lower, at, for, for 7,500 to 6,000 for Bitcoin Core, we need to go to, uh, it's going to take more time probably. Uh, so that could be by the earliest uh, in November. Uh, and at that time, we go up to 250 billion uh, with the trend line. And so, Taking a margin of safety, of course, because you, minus 55% might be actually the, the bottom. Uh, 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 so you want, don't want to buy there, you want to buy a little bit higher. So I put minus 50%. That means there's about 6,000 Bitcoin, but that means also about 170 billion uh, for uh, the total market cap. About, uh, yeah. Uh, and, and, and I still think that's likely to happen. Of course, it's not likely that likely that will happen so quickly. It may also only happen in one year. Huh? And then the trend line is much higher. And so fiat valuations will be a lot higher too, even if we reach minus 55% under valuation. So, but I do think like, yeah, you can wait for that to happen. I chance for it to happen are high, meaning 60%. And I think you can especially wait for this to happen, which is the golden retrace, as Kevin Svensson calls it, uh, where you see a, a correction. Like in every bull market in the past, uh, 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 after such a strong rally, you had this percentage of correction. So that's very likely to happen again, especially since it was such a, an extreme rise from for Bitcoin and the total market cap. Huh? Uh, that went from 100 billion to basically 350 billion um, here at the top of the rebound, 350 billion. The bottom was 100 billion. That was a very strong rally. We saw the first half of 2019. Uh, um, never seen such a strong uh, and fast recovery in a bear market. Uh, this, this what happened here was extreme. Uh, look at previous bear markets. It's not even close. Huh? Look at how the bear market recovered here. That was slow. Huh? Uh, the bear market here recovered much faster, but of course valuations were a lot lower, huh? a thousand times lower. Huh? We talk about 100 million, corrects to 10 million, goes back to uh, 30 million US dollars, more total market cap of all cryptos together. So of course this is gonna pump a lot quicker than here. And so this was, an outlier, a strong outlier that very few people expected, me included. Uh, but at the same time, it also means that the chances are very high this is going to correct strongly, even if the bill market starts. So I fully agree uh, with uh, Kevin Svensson that um, we will very likely uh, see a correction uh, to about uh, 7,500 for Bitcoin Core. And that also implies that we will see a correction to uh, about um, uh, 200 billion uh, is very likely to be reached. Now we're at 260 billion, so there is no rush here to buy, but it is important to uh, prepare to buy and to send your fiat to the exchanges because it always takes so much time and, uh, and crypto is much faster than you can transfer money. Um, 
and of course the great buys here are 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 are, are these coins not bitcoin core because bitcoin core is very likely to go down in dominance and that's also included here in the calculation uh, that uh, we peaked in dominance and and if we correct in the meantime likely uh, other coins will actually go up versus bitcoin but uh, that will continue for the next if the i mean bear or bull uh, the, 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 the other coins will likely uh, gain market share. Uh, so what you want to buy is not Bitcoin Core uh, on these retracements. You want to buy the other coins that have to still uh, catch up a lot of um, market share. Something else very interesting that I added to the sheet here is... Um, Kali criterion. So, 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 so the way I've I've built this sheet is 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 that um, um, well, I set the target of allocation, crypto allocation that I want to have. When we reach thirty five percent undervaluation, I want to go to a majority crypto. Why? Because while well, the previous bear market we went to minus seventy percent undervaluation, you never know how how deep it will go. So you take half of that. Uh, uh, is 35% undervaluation and that's likely or very likely to be hit in the next bear market and so we indeed reach that uh, and that's the point where I think it's a good idea to go to a majority crypto allocation even though it's very likely to go deeper um, and so uh, that's how I set uh, my uh, allocation uh, in the past huh? Um, and how much do I want to go? Majority, I put 51%. Uh, of course, we reached that already. Uh, we went back up. Uh, um, so, so, so we reached that here, uh, but we went back up in overvaluation. Now we're back down in undervaluation, but we're at minus 20%. I, I, I'm not willing to buy here yet. I am also at the mi minority uh, crypto exposure right now. Right now, I'm only at 34%. I want to go back to a majority, but I want to wait uh, until uh, we reach this minus 35% undervaluation again, uh, a little bit higher, uh, which is also the golden retrace. Huh? Uh, so, so that's the point where I want to go back to a majority allocation. But how big of a majority? Well, 35% undervaluation, I want to be 51%. So that's a little bit higher if we reach these price targets. I want to go to about 53% uh, majority exposure. Um, and so uh, the next steps that I still have and will keep is that if we reach the minus 50% undervaluation, I want to go to 60%. And if we reach the minus 85% undervaluation, which would be the most extreme and possible scenario, uh, like it's not probable anymore, but it is certainly still possible 40%, uh, uh, a new high in undervaluation never seen in the history of crypto, but, but uh, uh, the trend line is to make always higher highs in undervaluation in every bear market. That's why I think that uh, that's still likely to happen. Uh, sorry, uh, still possible to happen, but not likely. Um, and indeed, um, that means that we don't follow this green bottom line. Uh, you can see also the green bottom line that was at the time drawn by our and wonder huh? while well, in 2011 it it doesn't hit it but in 2013 14 it actually goes below it so in 20 uh, 18 19 it may actually go seriously below it that's why i mean that would just be extrapolating past uh, uh, past uh, performance also here you can see that clearly uh, that the that the undervaluation compared to the red line goes up over time so so that might certainly uh, happen again. Uh, and in that case, uh, if it would happen, uh, which is a low probability, but still possible, uh, I plan to go to a, a, a final 80% exposure in crypto. That would mean uh, that we do make a new uh, high in undervaluation of 85%. Last time it was 75% here, I uh, know 70%, so it's 85%. Uh, but also uh, like, yeah, I think 
once we break 3,150, we will go a lot lower. Every time a new uh, a bottom is breached, it goes a lot lower because of all the technical uh, traders that, that sell and, and, and create extra momentum. And, and the fear that's generated by breaking the bottom means that you go at least 50% lower. That's the most probable. And, uh, and it, uh, uh, yeah, uh, that would mean we would go to, to this press for Bitcoin Core. And even if... Uh, uh, in the meantime, still Bitcoin Core loses market share, uh, but and the others gain a little bit, uh, and that would mean they they end up here. But 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 as I mentioned in previous videos, I think between this and that time, very likely some coins like in previous bear market in the second half of 2014 will pump a lot, and actually Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, a very high chance actually from the top coins. I mean, it's most likely that top top coins will uh, will uh, pump. So typical, um, the, 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 the biggest coins go up first, as you see, in the middle of 2014, the second half uh, of 2014, the second half of that bear market, um, some alts went up, mm -hmm. uh, like Ripple at the time, uh, Dogecoin, uh, and some others also. Uh, and therefore, Bitcoin Core lost market share already in the middle of the bear market. This is likely to repeat here. Uh, and some coins likely to pump, but um, um, of course, um, yeah, I mean, the overall market cap goes down very likely, so it will be very hard to make profits expressed in fiat with these coins, even though they may go up for Bitcoin Core, uh, they may still have a hard time to make, make go up versus fiat as Bitcoin Core goes down. Uh, so 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 um, yeah, uh, that's uh, interesting. But uh, but what's also interesting is I did a calculation um, uh, not based on like the over and under valuation of the trend line, uh, how much I want to allocate, but I also did uh, did it using the Kelly uh, criterion, and it's interesting because it gives very different results. Uh, it basically advises to invest a lot less in crypto today. Uh, but invest more if we would indeed get um, such a strong correction that we get a new bottom. So, 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 for example, uh, today, um, I think that while there is an eighty percent chance that we do get a twenty percent correction, and we go to seven thousand five hundred for Bitcoin or. $280 billion, eh? $208 billion. So that's a 20% correction. I think the probability is 80% for that. It's high. It's very high eh? that we get that. On the other hand, we might not get it also. There is a 20% chance that we go straight into a new boom, a new bubble. We don't reach this price anymore. And uh, we just go higher. Of course, there will be correction on the way, but we never reach this price again. And so trying to buy here will be too not successful and so you miss out on a 70 multiplier uh, because uh, that's the potential to go up for for crypto uh, and that's based on um, a little bit further you see uh, the potential uh, the top in four years will likely be um, but that's in four years uh, will likely be 500 percent higher than the uh, trend line that will be around that price at the time, 3 trillion. So about 20 trillion will be likely the top. And that means that's uh, a 70x multiplier uh, from the current um, uh, 260 billion. So uh, that's what you risk missing out on. So what does Kelly advise us to invest based on these odds and based on this edge? What's the edge? The expected return is actually to do a 14 multiplier. If you have these kind of odds. And that's then also called your edge. Your edge is 14 multiplier. It's very good. But Kelly still recommends to only invest 20% of your uh, 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 capital. And this is like the most optimal. For, to have the most optimal growth, you should only invest 20%. And of course, since we are not so sure about these probabilities, the 80% may be, um, it may be higher, maybe it's 90% eh? chance that 
that we actually go down to this price. Let's say uh, in that case, it can only invest uh, recommends to invest 10 percent. So that's why uh, you you do the half Kelly. Huh? You don't do full Kelly. You do half Kelly is the wise thing usually in the stock market in in the in the in in the investment world because you're never sure that you estimate your probabilities correct and also the upwards potential may be like incorrect. So so you have to be a little bit more modest to do half Kelly. So Kelly recommends to invest ten percent based on these odds. I uh, half Kelly. Huh? And I'm invested today 34%, that's a lot higher. So I find that very interesting and it helps me to not get FOMO eh? because that's the problem here. There's always this FOMO is really a problem because um, I'm afraid to miss out. Eh? That's really um, something I am afraid of. So I am, my emotions take over when I see something pump. I'm like, oh my God. Did I miss? Did I miss out? Uh, so it's very good to see that. Well, actually, you know, like, are these estimates realistic? That's the question. And do we have eighty percent chance to go to seven thousand five hundred? And that's actually, I think, very realistic. Uh, if it always happened in the past, actually, you can easily raise this to ninety percent. Uh, so, so, so I personally think that, uh, yeah, FOMO, of course, is, is a problem. But if you look at it rationally, you shouldn't be uh, stressing yet. Um, uh, odds are still, or chances are still very high. We go lower uh, and you're able to buy in uh, crypto cheaper. It becomes much harder after we pass here, of course. Uh, you go lower and you go here. Uh, how much should you invest? Huh? Uh, that becomes much harder because, well, then, of course, you're going to doubt a lot more whether it will go deeper. Huh? Um, or I mean, it's either one one of or, or either you're like extremely bearish, you're sure it's going to go lower or either you're like really doubtful it's going to go lower. But uh, it's very hard there to estimate. The, how should I invest in for how much of my portfolio? Um, uh, and, 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 and so, yeah, this is only the first step in the correction for me to buy. Uh, this is the second step. Um, that's already difficult. And this will be extremely difficult huh? um, to buy here because very likely overly bearish or, um, or, or um, um, and so you're afraid to do the investment very likely. Or... Um, um yeah that's usually just how it is huh? uh, so to go from an exposure then uh to 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 80 percent and actually here you can see that kelly recommends 90 percent in this case here what are the odds that it gets cut by two again once you drop to 50 billion market cap for the whole crypto market huh? uh, and you're at 85 percent undervaluation below the trend line that at that time will be on, almost 400 billion that's only at the at, at the end of the year already Let's say that happens and you're at 1,007 for Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash made new low, Ethereum made new low. <clears throat> well, at that point in time, actually, the chance that it will be cut by two again is only 10%. It, it, it's very low, extremely low, because there is a bottom. Huh? Uh, the bottom is, well, the amount of fiat that flushes into the market that thinks like, hey, these are cheap prices, let's buy this. Huh? You don't need much fiat also to buy that because the total market cap of all coins together is only 50 billion. That's very, very small in, uh, in, the, wor in the world markets. So there is a bottom uh, and that's when it's dirt cheap and everybody wants to buy. Not everybody, most people don't buy, but that 10% that is smart money can buy and will buy and, and has so much like uh, get so many crypto coins in exchange for a little fiat that they very quickly stop the price from going down even more. So um, the chance is only 10% that gets cut by two again. And the chance is 90% that you will have not a 70x, but a 350x on average uh, in the crypto market when you reach such valuations. And then Kelly advises to invest 90%. Uh, and of course, like half Cali, huh? like half Cali, like when should you apply half Cali and when, 
when should, should you apply full Kali? Well, the more certain you are uh, about the probabilities and about whether you're going to make money or not, the more certain you are from a rational perspective, uh, the, the, high, high, the more close you can go to full Kali. And uh, I think, well, you should apply full Kali, eh? not half Kali, because uh, pff, it doesn't matter whether you're wrong about these probabilities and it's only 100x or, or it's more, um, or let's say uh, uh, it's not, it's 20% chance that you will um, go uh, again, could buy two instead of 10%. Well, Kelly still advises to do 80% allocation. So Kelly almost, I always advises here to invest a lot. Huh? Uh, but of course, when you make new lows, when you could buy two, um, uh, like, yeah, I mean, it's just like here you shouldn't apply half cal you should apply full cal so 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 but i wouldn't i wouldn't dare to do that there um no i would go maximum to 80 percent allocation i think that's already very very risky um but i would really try to do that but i wouldn't even dare to do full cal I've also noticed a strong decline in uh, the amount of bears in the market, uh, quality bears also, uh, not only Owen Wonder, he was not a bear, um, but for example, Throwaway was a bear with great information, has not been posting for two, three months, three months now, uh, it's pity. And um, yeah, still worthwhile reading all his posts because he made a great uh, case that the bear market was not over. You don't hear these things anymore today. But um, that's really, uh, you do hear it, there are some, but not so well funded as uh, or founded as this one. So yeah, check that out, throw away, hit throw away. Um, I will post it also below in the description. Um, because all these arguments still stand and eh? nothing has changed. And, and that's so interesting. Uh, here, that was his chart. Eh? With all, your chart is bull propaganda. Look at the data more closely. Times that NVTS reset in tandem with on-chain capital increase is um, only half the time and a price correction is always. It's quite obvious that NVTS has to historically reset with a 35% price correction not with on-chain capital. And so the NVTS shows how many transactions there are compared to the value of the coin. And, and for Bitcoin Core, this has been very, very bad. Huh? And the amount of transactions compared to the value of the coin uh, is low. Um, or inversely, the value of the coin is very high compared to the amount of transactions. Uh, and that usually uh, indicates a strong correction. But this was posted um, uh, a long time ago. Let's see. May 23rd. In the meantime, it went a lot higher. Huh? Uh, but the amount of transactions didn't go up with Bitcoin huh? because it can't go up. Um, so, um, yeah, the NVTS uh, indicator uh, is... Uh, of the shorts and always has um, led to very strong price, price corrections. Uh, so this is all still to happen. Uh, uh, the correction we've seen from 13 or 14K to 10K, a uh, bottom at 9K is uh, very weak uh, compared to what's uh, normally happening or what has happened in the past when NVTS readings were so high. Uh, here we have another one, uh, thanks to uh, Dennis De Swart, Dennis Developer on Twitter, linking to it. Um, also, Great Bear, uh, very interesting uh, posts. But um, um, the chart says that uh, NVT has exited the overbought condition after three months. This is analysis of Kraken, US dollar pair uh, versus Bitcoin Core. 
Um, so r r right now, NVT is not overbought anymore like it was before the past three months. Um, uh, this is, of course, from July, so July, August, September. It's not up to date, uh, but that doesn't matter because um, it's what happens after such a strong overbought situation, like you saw here, only here, only here, and always very strong corrections here, very strong here, very strong correction, eh? uh, and we saw it again. Eh? So. Uh, the strong corrections were uh, minus uh, 70, minus 70, minus 70, and minus 50 percent. Um, a 50 percent correction would bring us to 7,000. This is again um, in line with, uh, for example, Kevin Svensson's his target of 7,000 also. Huh? Um, but he uses other indicators to get to that number. Golden retrace, I think it's with uh, moving averages. I know it's just historical uh, corrections in Bitcoin, uh, but he doesn't use NVTS, for example. Eh? Uh, but uh, if you use that, you can also come to the same conclusion. But 50% is, the, is the, the smallest correction we've seen. And we saw this when? Well, when the market had gone uh, down for uh, almost a year from a top of 20K to 6K, uh, so there was already a lot of um, air out of the market, uh, and then uh, the NVTS was not so overbought as it was recently, uh, but it's corrected 50%. But I think this is a different situation. The market was not like, uh, has not been going down. Oh, no, the market has been going up a lot. And so it's much more easy to make a strong uh, correction again because. This is a different scenario here. This is a scenario similar. The market has gone up a lot. Then you see 70% correction. The market has gone up a lot. You see a 70% correction. Um, yeah. So I think that, uh, that, that uh, let's take a look what he says here. Uh, looking back in history, we see that after this event of uh, NVTS, uh, showing high overbought uh, valuations, a severe correction was due uh, the next few weeks, months, pushing price down to between 50 and 70 percent, which would bring us in the 4K to 7K range. Huh? Yeah, and this is also, uh, it also, uh, uh, 4K, 7K range is the same as what Trollolo is also suggesting that it's very likely we're going to see a minus 50 percent undervaluation. Uh, and that's indeed, uh, I put it back at 55, but it's at 5,500 5, for Bitcoin core. So that's between 4K and 7K also. Huh? Um, so, 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 so I think right now it shouldn't be too difficult to make decisions. I think the people that are invested 90% or 80% are making the big mistake here. Uh, they are way over invested and of course if they are sitting on huge gains they can absorb big losses but if you have bought at current prices uh, you, you you're probably gonna have high the chances are high that you will sit on major losses before we start the next bull market and and you'll also miss out on being able to buy then um i think um uh, from the kelly perspective uh it's indeed uh i said that you can get away with being invested i mean it's actually rational to be invested only 10 percent in crypto today but um <laughs> I, I would I, I don't agree with that uh because um well crypto uh, uh um the 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 opportunity miss the opportunity cost if you miss out is uh, is very high huh? very high and crypto being a totally new market yes we can do our best to create like the most probable scenarios eh? to 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 try to estimate what's most probable but very often bitcoin uh, and crypto in general has basically said here your probability eh? I do whatever I want. Yeah? And of course, in the past, because market was so small, also, it could really go either way. Uh, if a big player comes in or out of the market, 
uh, so that explains also uh, uh, the great um, yeah the the, the unpredictability of the market uh, but um, yeah it, it, this industry like the potential reward is so much higher than what you can have anywhere else huh? simply because uh, private currencies were not allowed to the past 300 years in uh, Western and Eastern uh, and Southern and Northern societies, never ever, like not, not anywhere. Uh, the, the, the nation state has all monopolized it everywhere and actually is financed by that. Half of it uh, comes from uh, inflation. So uh, it's like communism huh? at the time. In, uh, in the East, in China and uh, Russia, it's exactly the same where you were not allowed to start your own company. And so the government was running all companies. And of course, it led to uh, uh, great, uh, great misery and, um, and, 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 and just like an absolute uncompetitive uh, market uh, compared to the free market in the West. And, and, and as a consequence, um, yes, they actually went uh, uh, forward. Uh, because of other innovations that the, the government did implement, for example, in Russia, uh, for example, the, the, the agricultural revolution, uh, the invention of uh, oil and tractors. Of course, the communists also implemented that. They also had gain in, uh, in, in productivity, in, but much, much, much less. And they did some other massive uh, um, mismanagement. And even in such scenarios, from time to time, people died from hunger. But... Is the same with our currencies today. Uh, they are uh, yeah, monopolized uh, uh, industries and, and terrible uh, performance causing massive, uh, keeping people in poverty. Uh, people around us huh? uh, in the West uh, staying in poverty because they can't save money on a bank account because they can't save it as quickly as the value goes down. And the more you save on a bank account, you still lose pay 5% per year, but you can't work uh, that with an hourly wage. Uh, if you say, you have hundred thousand uh, dollars of two hundred thousand dollars on a bank account, saving for uh, uh, your first piece of land or or a real estate. Um, uh, you lose five thousand dollars per year in inflation that the government takes from you. That's the difference between the interest you get and the and the true inflation. Five thousand uh, dollars. Uh, people have to work long for that. Uh, it, it's like you can't uh, earn it as much as the government takes it from you. It keeps people in in poverty. Uh, and, and, and and there is no competition between currencies, so 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 it's a terrible situation that we're in today. And and as long as they don't outlaw uh, private uh, cryptocurrencies, um, well, this industry will grow extremely fast, and 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 that's a very very likely. And so the the upwards potential is not naive uh, to state that uh, yeah, in 2023 we will likely pick out a 20 trillion. This is a massive opportunity. So you can't really risk. To be left out, and and so 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 crypto may really like change past patterns and and suddenly go into a bull market here, and then of course the peak may will likely be a lot sooner. The peak will be maybe in in, in then in twenty twenty next year already maybe uh, or in twenty twenty one, and it will be a lot lower likely than this peak. Huh? Uh, the boom bust cycle just changes, but it does mean that. Um, well, we might not go to 20 trillion, but we might go to 10 trillion or to, to 5 trillion. And that's still uh, from here uh, uh, 20x or so on average. Uh, you risk missing out on that if you don't uh, buy, if you're not exposed enough. Mm. Because it goes up so fast, you get left behind. There just are not the kind of retracements you need to, 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 to invest. So that's why I have... Uh, I am really planning to buy already here. Huh? Um, uh, and that's not a price very low. That's a price much higher uh, than um, I would have been willing to invest a uh, half a year ago. Huh? Uh, so you have to change uh, with the times here too and with the reality. Huh? But um, yeah, that's my plan. Uh, and I hope uh, uh, it has been uh, of value to you. Uh, thanks so much for watching. And have a great day. And please share this uh, video with your friends on Twitter and Facebook. I really appreciate it. Uh, click the thumbs up. That helps to spread, uh, to get it more visible on YouTube. Um, and um, yeah, uh, I think um, it can help uh, many people.
Bye.